National Anthem time, and we've got a very special Cable 93 family member in here, my little nephew, Stephen Bosco. How are you, cuz? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Just here. so you know, I would not have called you little. That was Banks. <laughs> when you're as big as me, everybody's little. Yeah. <laughs> now, where are you from? Where'd you grow up? So, I was born in St. George, but I grew up in Staten Island, New York. Oh, okay. Interesting. But you've yeah. been living in Utah for I've the past... Eight years. And now you're headed to... Nashville. To become a... Superstar. That's right. right. <laughs> you're going to become a dad first. I'm going to become a dad first. And yeah. then we can talk about being a superstar. Well, priorities, bro. We'll see how long it takes. <laughs> for both. Yeah. Well, for yeah. Uh, just, just newsflash, it takes about nine months to, to be a dad. Well, she's halfway. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're excited about it, all the cool stuff coming up for you, the baby, and, of course, your career getting kicked off in Nashville coming from Utah. We're going to be supporting you the whole way, so good luck with all of that. And now, do you sing the national anthem on the regular? I don't. I don't. Is this the first time that you're singing it in public? Uh, no, no. I'm okay. singing it at a rodeo it in Montana. Okay. I sang it, actually, sang it once at a gala attended by the, um, the mayor of New York City. Oh, so, that's, well, mayor, that's some fancy Mayor stuff. de Blasio. Okay, I was going to say, Fancy, which fancy. <laughs> Here's the cat. She didn't show up till after the national anthem. Oh, oh, you didn't even see him? <laughs> what a slacker. Well, maybe he'll get to see But there was a bunch of other people there. <laughs> so, if Stephen looks familiar, it's because you've seen him on stage at Country Fan Fest. He absolutely destroyed the campground stage the last couple of years. And he's played all over town. And uh, we're lucky to have you as a Cable 93 family member, brother, to come in here. What does it mean to you to sing the national anthem? Well, I think back to the story of the national anthem where, um, you know, after the, when the morning light came and they look up and after all the bombardments and stuff, all the smoke cleared, you still, still see the flag tattered, you know, waving above. And um, I have a family rich in military history. My grandpa was a Marine, stormed the beaches of the Philippines in World War II. Um, my dad, he was in the Army, he was a major, and he, uh, he went to airborne school. He was in the JAG Corps and worked with China, Chinese relations in the 80s. Um, wow. My, my <laughs> uncle, yeah. My uncle flew helicopters in Desert Storm. Um, so it's and a, he was a long colonel. history then. Yeah. A yeah. military family. Well, yeah. I feel like it's going to mean a lot to you, which means it's going to mean a lot to us. So let's hear you do the national anthem. All right, here we go. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still Say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Damn, that was good. We'll see. We'll see. be a superstar. We'll see. That's what I, everyone thinks. I feel more American now. <laughs> I would just like to say that we knew you way back when you were playing the zoo lights and mm -hmm. the whole Don't forget us when you hit the big time. Right? Oh, right. <laughs> I couldn't forget you two. Couldn't forget you two. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.